Hey guys, we jumped in at Grab. We're heading down to the AIRE Sky Bar from our apartment in Hai Quang. It's going to take us about 30 minutes to get there in this kind of semi peak hour traffic and hopefully do a series on these sky bars in Bangkok. Importantly, the ones that have got a happy hour, which is important because it really cuts down the prices of expensive cocktails here in the better bars or the most expensive bars here in Bangkok. So I'll see you when we get there. Bye for now. Okay, so we got up here literally around 5 p.m. here. I know it's a little dark, I'll try to lighten up the video, but we're here at the AIRE Air Bar here. And uh, so far, so good. I love the atmosphere. And you know what? It's not packed full of people. I guess it's five o'clock, that's fine. Maybe it picks up later on, but that's the thing. Get to these places early. We've got a really front row seat, like right behind me, like literally. so much of Bangkok so we're hitting the uh, two for one cocktails but you'll see in the video before they have a bunch of drink uh, offers here uh, all night actually for a certain price so check out those prices as well all good great to be here awesome and it's nice and cool up here what are we at level 34 or something like that awesome loving it super chill take care see you after we have some drinks so, what is my summary of our time at Air Bar at the Hyatt Place Sukhumvit? Dress code, let's get that out of the way. It's pretty casual up there. No thongs, no tank tops, wife beaters, whatever you want to call them. Just be sensible. I had a nice t-shirt on, Tommy Bahama. Dress shorts and enclosed shoes. Happy hour, it runs from five till seven, and that's what we're looking for. Get into these joints during the happy hour time, and of course, there's nothing stopping you from ordering some drinks right before happy hour finishes, so you've got something to keep you going for the next hour or so. We ended up staying there till 10 o'clock. So that was two for one cocktails. I also have like a free flow beer, 7.99 plus plus. That's a lot of beer. And they also had a, uh, two for one wine offer. I think I've got a photo there somewhere as well that I've put up. Staff, they were friendly, easy going, polite and efficient. No complaints here about the staff. Crowds, ended up I wasn't crowded at all. So even though I go get there early, because we don't know, we've never been there before, ended up there wasn't many people there at, uh, at all for the entire four hours we were there. So the way the views are set up, when you come up to where the bar area is, you come out of the elevators and there's this kind of middle section which is in, kind of enclosed. That's where the bathroom is, where you order your drinks, that sort of thing. There's a little extra seating. But on the outside of that 
it's pretty much you can walk around the different areas and sit almost 360 so you get different views of different parts of the city which was awesome as the lights came up and uh, because of the lack of people we can literally sit right up against the you know the railing bit where the window the half glass window bit is and and look at different views and we ended up meeting a, a guy from the states here and just chatting with him for for ages so drinks for me they were nice and strong which is good so you know you often get a cocktail you have the first couple of sips and you go whoa and that's because you've drunk the little bit of alcohol that, that's sunk to the bottom but uh for mine they lasted, the strength lasted from start to finish, especially the Mai Tai I had, or the Mai Tais I ended up having, because I really enjoyed those, but they were strong for the whole time I was sitting on them. So in the end, what was the damage? We had four signature cocktails, and you'll see in the menu that they're a different price. Four classic cocktails. A large bowl of potato wedges. Now, you would have seen a photo that I've added in there. We've actually eaten a few by the time you see that picture. But it, we didn't get the munchies the whole time after we'd eaten those potato wedges. So there was plenty for us to last the time we were at the bar, which was almost four hours. So, in the end, with service and tax charges, which is standard 17% here in Bangkok, plus an extra $6 tip, the total price came to 86 Aussie dollars or 67 US dollars. More than fair value. And when I was looking through all the different bars and the ones I could find menus, it seemed to me that this was about the cheapest rooftop bar in downtown, like super, super wit sort of area. So, yeah, more than fair value. In fact, I couldn't even imagine what eight cocktails and a bowl of... I mean, we would be looking at 200 Aussie dollars for the same sort of thing if we had taxes and charges on top. So half the price of back home because apart from beer, drinks can be expensive here in Bangkok. So anyway, looking forward to the next one. Haven't decided exactly which one it's going to be, but we're going to do, as I said, at least a three, four of these rooftop bars and Bangkok it's the home of the rooftop bars they're everywhere so take care we'll see you at that next bar bye for now